Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is solving equations by completing the square. This is part one, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com and this is an integrated math two class. So here's our question, how do we uh, use completing the square to solve quadratic equations? Okay, so let's go ahead and factor these, you guys. These are all perfect square trinomials. They're perfect square trinomials because that's a perfect square, that's a perfect square, and there's three terms, so it's a trinomial, perfect square trinomial, and they, they all factor to a binomial squared, okay? This sign goes in the middle right here, and then x times x and y times y. And a lot of students have been asking, what happened to the 2xy? Well, about you know six weeks ago, I would have said multiply out x plus y squared, and you would have done x plus y, x plus y, and foiled it out. And then your outers and inners have your 2xy in there, okay? They have an xy and then another xy inside of there. So there's the 2xy. Okay, perfect square, perfect square. This sign goes in the middle, so it's going to be 3a minus 5b. And then what you got to do is just kind of check, you guys. It has to be double. Do you remember that? So multiply these guys. Whoops, that's supposed to be a minus inside of there. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be a minus. Okay, and then um, and then so that's uh, 15ab. Double it gets me 30ab. So we're good there. Okay, and then this one here, uh, perfect square, perfect square. So this is 9x and 9x. This is 11y and 11y. So 9x minus 11y. And then just check, you guys. There's 99xy. If you double that, that gets us the 198xy. I gotta change this real quick before I go move along. Okay. Uh, so I can act smart to my students when I teach this lesson. Okay, so these are all perfect square trinomials um, and, and always factor to a binomial squared, okay? And that's our concept of completing the square. So to complete the square with x squared plus bx, uh, we're going to add a number here. And to get a perfect square trinomial, we always add half of this number here squared. So half of b, whatever half of b is, and then square it. That's the number that we add. And so if it's an equation, we add it to both sides. Okay, so um, the perfect square trinomial will then become x squared plus bx plus um, uh, whatever this b over 2, whatever half of b is squared. Okay, and it will always factor to uh, a binomial squared. Okay, and here's an example right here. So uh, complete the square to form the perfect square. Okay, so what's half of six? Well, half of six is three, and then we square that. Okay, so uh, that's going to be three. Three squared is nine. That's the number that we add. Okay, all right, and then um, it's not asking for it, but this would factor to x plus three squared. Okay, x times x, and then three times three, and so that's our goal in this lesson, and we're going to combine uh, yesterday's lesson when we square rooted to solve, okay? You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here, half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So we're going to go ahead and add 16. And over here, half of uh, 20 is 10. 10 squared is 100, okay? So we're going to add 16 on number 2 and 100 on number 3. And then this would factor to uh, x uh, minus 4 squared. This would factor to x plus 10 quantity squared, okay? All right. Um, all right, so to complete the square when, it's, uh, uh, when we have a number in front of x squared, it wasn't just x squared. So when a is already a perfect square, then this number that we're going to add becomes whatever this number is squared divided by 4a, 4 times that number, okay? And there's a proof to show you why. I'm not going to do that in this video. We won't have time, and I'll bore you like crazy. So we'll just uh, just believe me. That's what you do, okay? So let's complete the square to form the perfect square trinomial. Okay, so we take half of 20. I'm sorry. We take 20 and square it, and then we divide it by 4 times 25, okay? So 20 squared is 400. 4 times 25 is 100. So that's what C is. We're going to add... 4 to both sides, okay? 400 divided by 100 is 4, so that's what that perfect square trinomial is. Now this would factor to 5x plus 2 squared, the quantity squared, okay? Alright, so 42 squared, and then we're going to divide it by 4 times 9, okay? So 42 squared divided by 4 times 9, okay? I, I Honestly, I had to use a calculator for that to get that 1764, and then divide it by 36, and then so when we do that, that gives us 49, so that's what we add. Okay, so this would factor to 3x minus 7 quantity squared, okay? 
All right, so now let's solve by completing the square. Okay, so here what we want to do is complete the square with the left to get that binomial squared right there. So uh, half of 10 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So, so we're going to add 25 right here, but since there's an equation to balance out the equation, we have to add 25 to both sides. So, so here's the plus 25 on the left, and so we had to add it on the right to balance out that equal sign right there. Okay, this side factors to x minus 5 quantity squared. And then go ahead and add those two and you get 49. And then from yesterday's lesson, we square root both sides. Whoops, that's supposed to be the square root of 49. Sorry about that. Let me get that in there real quick. This is supposed to be the square root of 49. I think I made a mistake right here. Uh, so what's just going to be 7? So I did make a mistake. I know I did. So let's see. I know what I'll do. I'll, uh, so it's going to be 7. And then we got to add 5 to both sides. So this should be 7 right here. And this should be negative 7 right here. Okay, because it's plus or minus the square root of 49, which is 7. Let me get rid of that there. I just... I, I, did that this morning so so we're gonna go plus 5 plus 5 so 7 plus 5 would be uh, 12 so when I add 5 to this side and then this is going to be um, uh, plus 5 plus 5 so negative 7 plus 5 will be negative 2 so um, it should be sorry about this I'll change this in class this should be uh, 12 on this side and this should be negative 2 on that side okay all right let's try that with this one I think I did this one correctly so here we go uh, uh, we got to uh, complete the square. Half of 6 is 9. Okay, so um, I'm sorry, it's 3. 3 squared is 9. So when we add that to both sides, we get um, uh, x plus 3 squared on the left equals 20. 11 plus 9 is 20. Then plus or minus the square root of 20. And then here's 20 over here. 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, so uh, two twos on the inside brings 1 2 on the outside. So that square root of 20 is 2 root 5, so we're left with x plus 3 equals plus or minus 2 root 5. Now we subtract 3 from both sides, and we get negative 3 plus or minus 2 root 5. I cannot add those because this does not have a root 5 with that, okay? All right. So here, okay, okay now we're going to complete the square with this one. Remember, to complete the square with this one, um, the, the number that we add to both sides is this number squared divided by 4 times this number. So 12 squared divided by 4 times 9, and so that's going to get us 4. So that's the number that we add to both sides. We add 4 to both sides, okay? So when this is a perfect square already, then we square that divided by 4 times that, and that'll be the number that we add to both sides. So here's a perfect square trinomial, okay? So this is going to be 3x, uh, that's a minus, minus 2, uh, squared equals 49, okay, and then plus or minus the square root of 49, okay, I did that one right. And then we're going to go ahead and solve those two equations, it equals 7, it equals negative 7, plus or minus 7. Add 2 to both sides, and then divide by 3, and we get uh, 3 or negative 5 thirds on that, okay. All right, a little bit more. Okay, so let's uh, add C, so um, uh, 30 squared. 30 squared divided by 4 times uh, A, which is 25. So we get 900 over 100 is 9. That's the number that we add to both sides. So it's going to give us 27. Square root both sides. And then so here's 27. 3 times 3 times 3. So we put 3 3's in there. 2 3's on the inside brings 1 3 on the outside. Okay. And then subtract 3 from both sides. And then divide by 5 from both sides. And so here's... Here's the answer. I think this looks a little bit more efficient right there. Negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 5. Now this 5, if it can go into both of these, then you divide it. But if it can't, then don't, don't uh, divide only into part of it right there. But here we don't have to worry about that. So negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 over 5. And your book is going to write it, write it like that. All right. If you guys are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.